We have seen the G4 TV controversy explode, absolutely explode. I don't think anyone thought that after Frost's rant, when she went after all of their audience and called them sexist simply because there may have been a couple people that were being critical of her about something valid, about something that she got wrong, she decided to turn it on her audience and call them all sexist if you don't completely align with what she's saying. If you criticize her, well, you're just an ist. You're a phobe. You're a terrible person. And we don't want you here at G4. Well, that was echoed by the vice president of G4, Blair Herter. That's the most recent time we talked about G4 with this tweet from Blair Herter. Grateful to spend my life with a woman, Jessica Chobot, who smashed glass ceilings. Honored to work with the women of G4's past and humans like Frost Grin today. I just want to point out once again, he used the word women when he talked about like Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn and used the word human when he talked about Frost. I don't know if he feels the word woman doesn't apply. Not sure. Just needed to point that out. Proud to work at a place that makes stuff like this. If you don't hear the below, unfollow me and don't watch us. We're not for you. We have seen this all playing out. They were very vocal about this when Frost came out there. Well, in recent weeks, it hasn't been quite the same. They've been pretty quiet. Frost could stop talking and clapping back to people on social media. Adam Sussler has been fairly quiet for the most part. We might talk about that a little bit later as well. But one thing that they don't want anyone to talk about is view body. And you guys know on this stream, from what I can tell, we were the first major channel to talk about G4 view body. I talked about it on a stream a couple weeks ago. We clipped it onto a video. Since then, a lot of people have picked up on that story. And in fact, when you search G4 view body, I'm top of the list right there, uh, which, is, which is good to see. Also, Vera Dark's up there a couple times. Gary's up there as well with a video that includes portions of my video when I exposed them for their ridiculous Twitch numbers that did not make any sense. Well, it turns out G4 is a little sensitive about view body. And it's almost like they've been caught red-handed and don't want anyone to dig any deeper. Because if you mention view body on G4 subreddit, well, this is what happens. So what's this about view body? And this is from six days ago. Sorry. This post has been removed by the moderators of G4 TV. Moderators remove posts from feeds for a variety of reasons, including keeping communities safe, civil, and true to their purpose. Well, the purpose of the G4 TV community is clearly to make sure they stick to the narrative. They protect them at all costs. And if anyone comes in there and exposes potentially something the G4 has done, they don't want that. Uh, is that the only example? No. I read that there's been clear proof of you body and serious backpedaling from your toxic host. I'm just here for the free entertainment. Sorry, this post has been removed by the moderators of G4. It's almost like as soon as there's any criticism, as soon as there's any pushback, they immediately erase it. They immediately try to hide any and all forms of criticism because this is the new G4. They don't care about their audience. They don't care about their fans. We've seen what's going on. We know that as soon as I called them out, as soon as a lot of other people called them out, their numbers dropped like a rock. We know they're funded by Comcast. We know they're partnered with Twitch and that they're trying to push this thing. But that does not explain the discrepancy between the chat activity and the view numbers. In all likelihood, what's going on is exactly what I explained two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago at this point that I made this video. G4 wanted to make sure they look good. Kevin Pereira's view bought it before. We talked about that. They wanted to make sure they look good to the big money investors. So they, they made sure they had a big Twitch stream. They've been paying to be on the front page. When I was logged out, they were on the front page of Twitch, promoted by Twitch with like 1,000 viewers. This is a consistent thing that's happening. What that doesn't explain is the lack of people in the chat. Sometimes you view bot to get on the front page. Sometimes you view bot to get more numbers, to get more people to notice you and actual real people to come in the chat. They've been caught with their pants down. That's why they're backpedaling. That's why they're hiding from any and all criticism. Whenever anyone mentions view botting, boom, immediately removed from their community. They do not want people talking about it. Must be because they're a little sensitive, aren't they? This is pathetic from G4, but it's only the most recent thing they've done that is absolutely embarrassing for them. You know, I think for the most part, a lot of stuff has died down with this and will continue to do so as long as they keep their mouths fucking shut. But there is no doubt 
that they have uh, they have been caught. They have been exposed as not giving a shit about the fans. They are a fake corporate channel. That's what they are. They're trying to be, oh, one of you guys, we're gamers. No, you don't give a fuck. You will hate your audience if they don't agree with you politically, whatever. G4 is disgusting. G4 has been caught and exposed, and I am happy to play a role in it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.